Hello beautiful family. I don't know what kind of helicopter that is. If anybody can see what helicopter that is, I don't know. I don't think it's the military one, it could be it could be the Coast Guard here we have. Because we because I live I live in uh, Scarborough, North Yorkshire, right next to the sea, and it could be the Coast Guard, so hello. <laughs> I hope you're okay, beautiful family. I'm okay, I just feel tired. But uh, the Bible, well, first of all, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Stephen, I am a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm just gonna point it this way for a while, because uh, th this is the way that leads for salvation for your soul. Um, a guaranteed place in heaven and to be taken up to heaven in the rapture which is gonna happen very shortly I mean I mean days away now so uh, please if you haven't believed on Jesus Christ lay hold of your salvation and eternal security now don't wait because uh, don't wait any longer because look we're looking for our blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ Titus 2 13 in the Bible and he's going to descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the Archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ are going to rise first 1 Thessalonians 4 16 to 18 and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus is coming so please believe on him if you haven't it's so simple it doesn't matter what you've done, if, you, if you've murdered a hundred people, you can still be saved, okay? This is how you are saved, by not, not by um, repenting of all your sins, you actually repent of all your sins. Look, the Bible says we have all sinned and we all come short of the glory of God. The Bible says though that the wages of the end of sin, the penalty, the payment of sin is death, and that means hell. But the gift of God, which is a free gift of God, which he wants to give you, and he wants to give it to everyone according to his word, is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For everyone that believes. Romans 3.23 and Romans 6.23. Uh, all have sinned. We all have. I don't mind saying I'm chief sinner. I've done a lot of terrible things in my life, but my sin is covered by the blood of Jesus Christ because you must believe the gospel to be saved. You must be born again, born of, born of God, and that happens the moment you truly believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and what he did for us on that cross. Because there's no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. I think that might be, don't quote me verbatim, but um, it's uh, at the book of Acts, I think it's chapter four, it might be verse 11 or 16, but there's no other name. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So all of the ways lead down to hell. So please, if you haven't believed on him, believe on him now, because time is short. Jesus Christ is coming. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming. So uh, believe, believe that he... Listen, guys, if you're new and you haven't believed, God loves you. And Jesus has promised he will not turn anyone away that comes to him. All you have to do is be honest and humble and say, yes, I've sinned. Recognize that you have need of a savior. Then believe that, know that, he, when you know that he died for you on that cross, he shed his blood for the forgiveness of sin. Because the Bible says there's no forgiveness of sin without the shedding of blood. And God so loved the world as he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to be a sacrifice on that cross for all our sins, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Because in the Old Testament, they, what they would do is they would sacrifice a, a lamb, for example, and then they would dip the hyssop branch, the hyssop branch, uh, in, in the, end, uh, the, the end of the hyssop branch, in the blood, and then they would sprinkle the congregation like this with the blood and that would atone for their sins. But now, God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, because he knew man couldn't keep his law, 
um, in the Old Testament, so he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So please be a whosoever if you haven't. For the glory of Jesus Christ, the camera will be a uh, holy fire. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so yeah, I just I didn't intend on doing that video. I just uh, I was going to do one on the way back, but I, well, actually, I was going to do one in some nice, uh, nicer scenery place. But I thought I'd do that there just in case it was uh, because I've had you won't believe this, but I, I've had helicopters stalking me. You might not believe me, but I have. I know they have because um, once I, I had the curtains shut it was night time and uh, I heard two helicopters flying over my uh, uh, flat so I opened the curtain and I look as soon as I put my head out of the window this super trooper light shined directly on me and um, so I, I knew I was being stalked um, I'm going to try to leave out to uh, a lot of the other things that are going on in this world because I just want to stick to the simplicity that is in Jesus Christ because uh, anybody coming to the channel and hears me pray, uh, t tell the way to be saved and then talk about other things which are way out there, you know what I mean? Uh, which are true, but they're still uh, way out there for some people to believe, then they might be put off. Uh, it's just the simplicity that is in Jesus Christ, what I'm sticking to. Right, I'm just walking through town and I, I have a feeling I've got I've got my rucksack uh, packed with my speaker and uh, my gospel tracks. I didn't know I was going to be doing this, but I feel the Lord quickening me to do it. Um, with an, I mean, we're already quickened, which means made alive in Christ. So once, once you've believed on Jesus Christ, it's your whole lifetime of sin that is removed. Your whole lifetime of sin past, present and future. It doesn't give us a license to sin, however. Um, so I, it doesn't give us a license to sin and there can be earthly consequences. There can be, not always, uh, for, for our sinful actions. For example, if you were, if you were saved, you, once you're saved, you, you can't lose your salvation because you're sealed until the day of redemption, Ephesians 4.30. So, um, so uh, you don't have to worry about losing your salvation. But for example, if, uh, if, if I was to drink every day alcohol, and uh, you know, and um, I'm, I'm saved, but I'm drinking every day, it's gonna have consequences on your body. It's gonna have consequences on those around you. See what I mean? That these are the consequences. So listen, I would, I would ask you all to please pray for me. Um, I haven't made up my mind that I'm definitely going to preach, but I think so. I'm, I think down the seafront there's going to be loads of people. So I'm just going to have a cup of coffee because I need another one. Because I, I didn't get to sleep till 3 a.m. And uh, I woke up about 11, so... So um, I got a good sleep anyway. I thought it was seven... Eight, about eight hours, yeah, so I'm all right. Um, so... Uh, I'm just going to upload this one quickly, guys. I would ask you if you please uh, pray for me because I'm going to go down the, the seafront. And uh, first of all, I'm going in in, in a, a cafeteria. I'm going to get a coffee. But I would I would that you would pray for me, please. I love you all, family. Jesus Christ is coming, and I believe it's going to be this month. I believe it's going to be this month. I'm not setting a date. That's what I feel in my heart. I, um, please look at. Uh, the top of the description box, you'll see Sister Heather's channel, uh, and she, you'll see the words Rapture Watch ch uh, channel, and, and that's her channel, and um, uh, she's fantastic at, at figuring out uh, days, numbers, times, um, dispensations, uh, feasts, all this lot. So go to her channel, uh, and you know. Don't be, don't be so hard on her. She's, she's saying that we could be gone on the 18th. Um, she's not saying for definite, you know, but God is moving her. I know God's brought me and her together, uh, you know, online. I mean, she's in the States, but uh, she's brought us, God, he's brought us together uh, because um, he's got a plan. And it's wonderful how he brings us all together, you know, and 
and um, it's just wonderful. So, all right, guys, beautiful family, look up, look up, look up, because our redemption draws nigh. We're about to be caught up into a through the windows in the hev heavens, and then we'll be with the Lord forever.